Hello everyone, we will continue the topic authority check and in the previous videos we understood the concept of authority check, we discussed the various terminology, then we did the practical for the authority check and in the last video we understood the meaning of SAP underscore all. Now what we will do, we will take one more practical example because as of now we have not created our own authorization field. So we will take an example in which you need to create your own authorization field also. Suppose I will go for simple example. We have the order header table and what we will do, we will develop a program in which the input will be payment mode. Whenever user will put the payment mode, based upon that, the records will display. Now, if a user has the authorization of a particular value of payment mode, only in that case, the user can display the data. Suppose, I am saying user 1. Suppose user 1 is only only authorized to display those records or user 1 can only check those records where payment mode is credit card, where payment mode is C. Suppose user 2 can only only display those records where payment mode is equal to D. Suppose user 3 can only only display those records where payment mode is net banking. So we are, and this is real world. In real world, how it is? Yes, we have certain set of people. They can only disable to see some certain records. Suppose we have certain set of people. They can only, only check some certain records only. Suppose we have certain set of people. They can only check some, or they can only display some selected record. This is real world, how real world works. Suppose we have various departments in a company. This department is handling credit cards. Suppose this department is handling debit card transaction. This department is handling, suppose, net banking. And we have a authorization there. This department can only, only check those records which are done with credit card. This department can only check those records which is done through debit card. This department can only check those records which is done through net banking. So we will go for this particular requirement. We will create authorization field also for the payment mode. And then we will simply use in the authorization object. So we will do the practical for the same. So what will be our authorization field? Our authorization field will be payment mode. So what I will do, I will go to now SU20 transaction code. You all know we can create a authorization field through SU20 transaction code. Suppose I will go for SU20 transaction code. Yes, it is a transaction code for authorization field maintenance. I will simply click on to create button, create authorization field. Now, I will give some name to the authorization field. Now, first important thing, it is not mandatory that your authorization field will start with Z or Y. Now, people will say why you are creating your own object, why it is not starting with Z or Y. See, authorization field is the part of authorization object. An object is a part of object class and we are passing the name of the authorization object starting with Z or Y only. So in that case, authorization field is a part of authorization object. So if you are giving Z or if you are not giving Z, no problem at all. Because ultimately our authorization object is starting with Z or Y. Now I will give some name to the authorization field. Suppose I will say, suppose payment MD. Suppose I will say PYMT MD. Suppose payment. 
PYMTMODE payment mode you can give or you can start with Z or Y also no problem because here it will not stop you. Now suppose I will store it in the local package dollar TMP. Now here I will pass the data element for the payment mode. So I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will go to our order header table. This is the data element for the payment, which has a domain. This is the domain of character one. If I will simply show you, it has a domain and domain has the values C, D and N, credit card, debit card, net banking. If you do not have, no problem. You can simply refer the playlist of a BAP dictionary. You can create the order at a table. Now I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Now you can see our authorization field is ready and system is not stopping because authorization field, you can start with Z or if you are not starting with Z or Y, no problem. Because here our authorization object is ultimately starting with Z or Y and we will use this authorization field in the authorization object. Now, what I will do, I will go to SU21 transaction code. Now, I will suppose as of now, just see this where use list is blank. Just because why I am putting a stress here? Because once I will create the authorization object, you will be able to see the auth object here. Suppose I will go to SU21 transaction code now. With the help of this, we will create two things, authorization object and authorization object class. Now we will not create new class because class is a one-time activity, it's a container. So in that class, you can store the authorization objects. So I will directly start with authorization object. Now I will give some name to the authorization object. It must start with Z or Y. Suppose I am saying Z authorization object, suppose payment mode, suppose I will write payment mode, okay, I will write PMD, payment mode, suppose. I will give the authorization object text, suppose I will write auth object for payment mode. Now, I will pass the name name of same to same object class. I will not create a new class. This is the authorization object class. I will save it as a local object. I will go for save. So my authorization object is in this authorization object class. Now here we will pass the authorization field. Yes. We will use ACTVT as it is because previously when we took the requirement, we choose insert, update, delete. Now we will simply, simply go for read. So what I will do, firstly, I will take ACTVT because anyways, we are going for some activity. I will took ACTVT. I will go for OK. I will choose this. Now I will simply go for activities also define permitted values. Now I will simply go for display because our requirement is to display only. I will go for save. Now I will go for payment mode authorization field which we created for payment mode. I will click here. Now I will simply give the name. I'll check in SU20, but the name I give PYMT mode. PYMT mode. I will go for O. Yes. And now I will simply, simply save. So in this authorization object, I used two authorization field. That is standard authorization field, which is for the various activities. 
and I used my own authorization field also. Now, if I will show you now authorization field in SU20. SU20. Now, it will show you where you are using this authorization field. I will put the name PYMT mode. If I will execute. Now, here you will be able to see the where use list. If I will show you the where use list. Now, if I will simply drop to go for this. Now you can see it is clearly saying this authorization field, this authorization field you are using into this particular authorization object. Yes. So this is how it is showing you also. This is our object class. This is our authorization object. And in this authorization object, we have the authorization field. So whenever you will go for authorization field, you can check there itself which it is using into which particular authorization object because we can use the same authorization field in n number of authorization object. So whenever you will use this authorization field into another authorization object also, so it will simply, simply go for one more line. Suppose simple example, we used ACTVT at the multiple places. So same thing is here. If you are using one authorization field at multiple authorization object, then it will simply, simply show you here itself. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we took another requirement in which we need to create our own authorization field. So what the requirement we have taken that a user, a certain set of users can only see the credit card records, a certain set of users can only display the debit card record, a certain set of users can only go for net banking records. Yes, it might be the case there is a department which has rights for everything, but in real projects, we have dedicated departments. Yes, this department is only only authorized for this thing. This department only this. This department only this. So based upon our requirement, we created the authorization field through SU20. Now it is not mandatory that authorization field name will start with Z or Y. You can give or you can start with any alphabet. We provided the data element which has a domain for the character one and which has the various values. After that, we created the authorization object through SU21. We have not created the object class. And in that authorization object, we used two authorization field. One is standard ACTBT because that will be always there because you are going for some activity. Then we used payment mode also. Then in SU20, I show you where use list. Now in SU20, it is showing you that this authorization field you used into this particular authorization object. In the next video, we will develop the program and in that program, we will write the code. You all know how to write the code and we will write the code also in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.